Good morning. When you and your group are hated, where do you and your group do Passover? Today we're looking at Mark 14, verses 12 to 16. Now on the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare that you may eat the Passover? And he sent out two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. Wherever he goes in, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is the guest room in which I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and prepared. There make ready for us. So his disciples went out and came into the city and found it just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. So keep in mind that right after this event, Jesus went out and he went up through uh, over the Brook Kidron and up into the Garden of Gethsemane, and a group of officials and a mob came and arrested him. People were searching for Jesus. Remember, they wanted to take him before the big feast, and there was a lot of time issues going on, and they wanted to get him right away. So they're looking for Jesus. At the beginning of this passage, his disciples ask a very good question. Master, where are we going to eat the Passover? So this is kind of a problem because remember, I mean, even Nicodemus, who was a very rich person, a very uh, known in the culture, known in the, in the city, a very important person, even Nicodemus had to come to Jesus only by night. So Jesus was definitely on the, on the list of people they wanted to address. And now think about this. Jesus needs a fairly large room. And in Jerusalem, there are houses, smaller houses, larger houses. This would be a large upper room, large enough for a group of a dozen and more people to be in there for the Passover. This is going to have to be somebody who's kind of well-to-do, someone who's uh, at risk if they do something for Jesus, but they're willing to do it for him. There is somebody fairly well-to-do in the town who supports Jesus, supports the apostles, and gives them a space to do Passover. Sometimes, you know, you and I wonder, how will things be uh, as persecution comes at some point and deepens? How will the church continue? Uh, the church doesn't seem to be that strong sometimes. How will it be that the church will survive the intense persecutions that are, are coming? But remember this, keep this in mind. God has his own. They're scattered across the land. They are there, though. There are the 7,000 that haven't bowed the knee. Some are poor, some are rich, some are in between. They're, they're scattered through. He knows how to provide for his church, and he's, he has provided, just as he provided for Jesus and the uh, disciples for the Passover, he will provide for us in the most intense times that are still coming. So you and I don't really need to worry about that. We just need to be faithful. I need to be faithful. That's the key thing. God can take care of his church. Now, if it comes to be that God uses you or me to develop an underground church as that time of persecution comes upon us, well, then we'll have other duties, and then we'll have to engage in, in addressing those things and be faithful. You know, a lot of Christians don't even have the first idea of what work God has given them to do. But he does give people particular work. And so we need to know what that work is and then do it. So let's do that. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to serve the Lord Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity to be faithful. He that is faithful in least, we also are told, is faithful in much. And so help us, Lord, to be faithful in least. Bless us and grow us, Lord, we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, when we do what Jesus asks us to do, we're going to find it's just like uh, verse 16. It says that they went and it was just as he had said to them. We'll find that things are just as Jesus told us it would be. It's okay. It'll be fine. The disciples had to go into the city and follow Jesus' instructions. And that's what you and I need to do. God be with you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord Christ Jesus.